that looked so real. Hi, I have to keep my voice down a little because I'm at a 3D movie. I was lucky enough to get a good seat, but it's really crowded. Actually, I wonder how many people are here in all. I'm in a row of four, and there are five rows here, and then two more rows in the balcony. So that's... Shh, quiet. Ooh, hang on. Let's work this out somewhere else. Of Excuse all classrooms in Excuse all me. world, oh. she had to do math in mine. Okay, now I can speak a little louder. So we have five rows of four, and then in the balcony, two more rows of four. Let's draw it like this. That's five fours and two fours. What is that in total? How many fours? Five fours and two fours would make up seven fours. That shows us the total number of rows in the theater. This number bond shows us how the seven fours were broken down into five fours and two fours. Remember, we could break them down any way we like, but let's make it easy. Fives are nice and twos are nice too. Now let's look at this number bond as a multiplication expression. If we have seven times four, what should these two expressions be? Great, so we have five times four and two times four. And five times four plus two times four equals seven times four. To solve this, we multiply 5 times 4, and then we multiply 2 times 4. So what is 5 times 4, and what is 2 times 4? 5 times 4 equals 20, and 2 times 4 equals 8. Then 20 plus 8 equals 28. So 7 times 4 equals 28. Fabulous. There are 28 people in total in the theater. Well, wait. I'm outside. I don't want to miss the movie. I'm going to run back inside. Before I go, why don't you try solving this question? There are seven days in one week. How many days are there in eight weeks? Oh, great. You're back. You'll be doing more problems like these in class. But shh. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday and for rest of life, you will appreciate this math lesson. Okay, Kevin. I love you. We'll always have math class. <laughs>